So what is about to come in this next month and going forward is going to shock you. If you thought Russia, Ukraine, and everything that's happened so far was crazy, then you are in for something even crazier. And I wanna give you guys this encouraging word because if you've been following me this whole time, even from the last couple of years, you know that I've been covering a lot of current events, different world news, global things, elections, COVID, and just even the wars and just different things that have happened but more importantly, how to respond as a Christian. And if you're new to the faith, how to really take this time period to really be able to seek the Lord and see and understand the correct perspective. Because a lot of us right now, we're confused. And if you are in a place where you don't know what to believe, you don't know what the right information is, you don't know how to interpret things, you're seeing so many people pitted against each other. They have such strong views and in, in such a way that they're being demonized, they're being told that they're conspiracy theorists and other people who have such a strong uh, alternative viewpoint or have such a uh, normalized, quote unquote, viewpoint that other people are saying, no, you got to wake up. You're not seeing the big picture and all these different things that are happening in the world around you, in your family, in your church, in the, the country, in nations, and it seems so divided, then you are in the right place. Because right now, if you haven't been uh, living under a rock, you know that a lot of different things are uh, amounting to what is supposedly this crazy global cabal or good versus evil thing and that there's these secret uh, behind back door type things that people are writing off as untrue, the term misinformation, the term uh, disinformation, all these different things are being thrown around like it's nobody's business, like it's so easy to label something. And if you are in a place where you're confused, then this is the first step because you are waking up to what's going on. And right now, what's happening this month and what's happened so far is only a prelude, a small glimpse of what's to come before things get better. And I want to tell you right off the bat that uh, all hope is not lost. We're not in the end days in the sense that Jesus, Jesus is coming next week or next year or whatever it is. There's some time, but it is, as I've said it before, uh, both prophetically as well as just my interpretation of what's going on uh, in scripture and just in uh, the the clues around us is that we have a lot of time, but we're just in a trial run. So those that are worried, that are concerned, and all these different things, you got to be able to really uh, first uh, calm down, but also to be able to fully seek the Lord. And God's using this time right now, all the madness, all the craziness. And I'm talking, I'm not talking about March madness in the sense of uh, the the basketball stuff, but that there's a lot of things happening this month and going forward that's going to shock you. And it's uh, being done to challenge your perspective so that your perception of reality, the questions, the different uh, rea uh, norms that you've taken for granted are being challenged. And really, you have to ask deeper questions like, why is it that my whole... Uh, family and all these different people are really uh, seemingly have gone crazy. Like they seem normal in church. They have the right uh, theology in the background, but they're just caught up in the, the world events and saying that, no, this is real. COVID and vaccine, this is this. Oh, election fraud, this is, it's over here. And no, if you look over here and see the uh, pedophilia and the human trafficking, all these different things, they're throwing out all these different things that people have deemed as propaganda, misinformation, disinformation, whatever you want to call it, but you are asking these questions at, at this point in time and really saying, man, what, what really is going on, especially even with Russia and Ukraine, right? What is it that's actually happening on the ground? What is actually the motive and, and the reasoning behind Putin and all these different things? What's going on, right? I'll tell you one thing. All these things are going on because he wants to shake you, he wants to expose things, and he wants you to get you to understand the right perspective. So if you're in a place right now or you can just brush it aside and say, hey, you know what? I don't need to look at politics. I don't need to look at what's going on in the world. I, I don't need to uh, be involved in all these different things. And I, I just want to be in my own bubble. Then I'm telling you, a lot of things that are happening as a downstream effect will come to your doorsteps, whether it's economic issues, whether it's regulation and laws that are going to affect you. You see mandates. You see all these different things, right? Everything in some sense, at some point, is going to come to your door. And at some point, you're going to have to say, man, I want to step up. I want to fight, especially if you understand what injustice is, especially if you understand what freedom, losing freedom is. And this is the time right now, before we get into to more of the end, end times, that God is shaking 
awakening and he's equipping people. So that's what's going on. There's no more, no more can you just, you know, uh, let things go uh, uh, to to the, the wayside and just think that, oh, I can go to Sunday service and just sing a couple songs and just do my thing, go home, have my nine to five job and that's it, right? You got to be able to wake up and think for yourself. For too long, we've been sleeping as a church, we've been lukewarm, and we've had a veil cover us to be able to properly not only understand what's going on, but to pray, to respond, to take action, and to know uh, what what that is so that you can go forth and be more effective in your ministry and what's going on. So I'm here to give encouraging words. A lot of people ask me, why don't you just stick to the gospel? Why don't you just stick to this? Yeah, there's roles and, and people have in that area that people uh, are called to do. But I'm not running some church, guys. I'm not running like a full-blown church here. I'm, I have a channel. I have a certain mission, a calling. A lot of us are doing the same thing. And we are stepping up and we're trying to encourage a lot of people to understand and to question things. I'm not here to spew you know, craziness or conspiracy or whatever. I'm trying to help people step by step, uh, not only fixate and, and live out the first and second greatest commandments of loving the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind and your neighbor as yourself, but in all of that, how do you navigate what's going on around us? What's going on in the world? And so if that is something of interest to you and you don't want to be sleeping, you don't want to uh, be confused anymore, you want peace, harmony, and all these different things, this path to get there requires that bit of ruff ruffling feathers and, and discussing things. If you live in a household where you just ignore you know, your spouse's problems, your child, your, your children's problems, you don't take out the trash and you just hope that someone deals with it and you never discuss something, and then you will just be putting off all the issues and problems. And that's what's happening at the current events, the global, the higher level, the, the big picture level. A lot of people, they've been throwing it aside. No, I don't, I don't have an opinion about politics or Trump or Putin or all these things. No, I don't have an opinion about vaccines and, you know, COVID and all this stuff. I don't have an opinion about whatever the topic is, right? But because we've been in that mentality of thinking it's safe and we're okay just by punting it and just not thinking about it, we've gotten ourselves into trouble because we don't have enough people that are stepping up to stand for righteousness, to stand for the godly things. And that's what God wants. We're not to be just these closet Christians and just focused on uh, evangelism. Yes, that's important. Yes, we need to preach the gospel to all nations. But remember, the body of Christ, holistically speaking, we are doing and tackling all these different things uh, for a reason. And in the end times, it says that the saints will rise up and uh, be fighting against the Antichrist. They will, they will uh, fight against laws and memorandums and mandates and unjust things. And they will have this sword, sword to fight and to go out. We're not to be just sitting around, guys, right? And so again, everyone has a role, whether it's intercessory, whether it's speaking out, whether it's taking action locally in your body, whatever it is. But we're in a time now where God is waking people up. And so get ready because this month, next month, and everything that's happening, it really is related. It's related to what people call digital soldiers, white hats, patriots, whatever you want to call it, people that are fighting against a global evil. And if you think that's some kind of a joke or some kind of a conspiracy theory, again, you have to be able to pray and say, Lord, open my eyes. Help me to really understand. Help me to have, have just a, a level of objective understanding to see where these people are coming from, right? And so that's where we are at. A lot more people are asking questions. They're not brushing things aside. They're not being told what to think and how to think. They're not being fed, spoon-fed things from the media anymore because people are asking deeper questions, and that's where we're, we're at. So uh, we're in a time right now, guys, where as people are waking up, more and more are realizing and they're taking action, and it's a good time, but it's needed. It's very necessary to get through this icky period, this, this dirty and just this uh, uncomfortable period to be able to discuss, to hash things out, and then to move forward to the other, to, uh, to the other side. And so you got to be very careful. I've been saying the last couple of weeks, and even before that, you have to discern very carefully. It requires great discernment to be able to understand the times that we are living in right now. And it requires a lot of encouraging words, exhortations, prophetic words, um, even disagreements and arguments, only to be able to come to a conclusion, right? Similar to the Bible, when they were talking about circumcision in the book of Acts, they were trying to hash it out. And that's how they got to a unified conclusion. In order to get to unity, in order to get to a place as a body of Christ where we are in a, a better, forward-thinking, more um, Christ-centered, Christ-minded, and clear, comprehensive 
uh, uh, thinking, then we have to get rid of uh, this fog and just all these disagreements and hash it out and work through it to get to the other side. And that's what's happening right now. So you're asking questions. If you're willing to seek to understand, seek to uh, see the other pers person's perspective and why they're fighting for what they are and to see uh, when someone's saying something just because a newscaster, just because somebody that has a title is saying, oh, no, no, that guy's stupid or that guy's a, a, a crazy person, whatever it is, think for yourself. Ask the Lord, what is it that is um, the truth, Lord? I want to be able to really understand that. So I want to encourage some people because right now I feel that in my spirit there's a lot of things that are going to uh, happen that may be even in some sense worse, right? So you got Russia, Ukraine. I feel that there's something with regards to Taiwan and China, right? And so whether it's the same thing in terms of talked about Russia and possibly him uh, a special operations mission going on to target the uh, corrupt leaders, whether it's bioweapon labs or just the second, you know, next worst COVID or whatever it is, right? There's something going on. And maybe uh, uh, the Ch uh, China's president, President Xi, Xi and, you know, some of the things going on there, there may be some good out of it. I'm not quite sure. I'm still thinking and praying through it. But even Trump and many other people have said that, hey, watch for Taiwan, right? So again, this there, there's something there, and we have to be ready for that. Trump has also said that watch for election fraud and evidence and all these different things that are going to come out in the next several weeks. So at CPAC, he talked about those things. And so a lot of people are still uh, really praying and caught up in that. There's so much more activity with Wisconsin and many places and, and all these different uh, mail-in ballot type stuff that's going on. So that those things are going to be shocking. And guys, people are not stopping and talking about Trump's return and all these different things that are happening in the U.S., right, as well as uh, various other places. Why is it that uh, the mandates and different things have just suddenly dropped and then it's been the focus of Russia? What, what's going on with regards to midterm elections and this time period in between? What's going on with global governments and just the different things that are happening with collusion and uh, pitting uh, people against each other and all these things. These are open questions that are going to be answered. But get ready, guys, because I feel that this month and going forward, there's going to be a lot of exposure, a lot more things. You got Durham, you got many other things coming out. And people that have been in darkness, and I've given this as a prophetic word, but those that have been in darkness, that have been hidden, will be exposed and be brought to light. And I believe the truth will eventually come out. But a lot of people, they're in different places. They're reaching the precipice at different times. They're reaching a point of frustration, of desiring for the truth, of being tired of all these different narratives and all these different things that they've been hearing only to be uncomfortable, to have something deep in your spirit to think, man, something's off. Something is really wrong and off about what's going on. It just doesn't sit right with me. And so that's why people and this just this throughout these last couple of years and just this period of time, God is allowing to happen so that you can be uh, questioning uh, and then uh, asking so that you can get some kind of discernment, answers, knowledge. You may not get everything, but it's a time where you have to hash it out. You have to even, in some sense, argue with somebody and really uh, rub shoulders with that person or that group or that movement and then see what is it that's truth. And again, I'm not uh, uh, proposing or saying like, oh, believe this group believe that group, believe this person, whatever. A lot of people ask me, where do you get your news? Where do you, uh, who do you trust and things like that? But even in the midst of that, there's a lot of people, they run a lot with the first thing they hear and they could even be anchored on some of the wrong things. So not everybody has everything. We're all trying to figure it out, but you got to understand that there, there are people, they have a heart to want to be able to understand what the truth is. Like what's really going on in Ukraine? What's really going on with the COVIDs and, and the vaccine? Pfizer, a lot of of the um, tests and trials that those documents are coming out, right? Like what's really going on in XYZ? What's really going on with these ballots and election that everyone's talking about, that everyone's mocking and just throwing aside, right? Again, it's an information war that we're in. We are in a time where it requires careful discernment, careful consideration on who brushes somebody aside, who throws somebody under the rug, who labels somebody as stupid and weird and conspiracy or whatever it is. But you have to uh, take on the mind of Christ yourself. You have to pray and seek him yourself such that you would have a foundation to be able to go out and seek what is the truth for yourself. And again, you may not get everything. You may get 
you know, bamboozled once in a while, right? Like you see a video, you think it's real, but then it becomes something CGI or video game or what, or, or something from the past, right? So again, you have to work through those things, but you are exercising your mental ability to be able to better discern, to better guard yourself, and then to be able to process things uh, as, as, as a Christian, as a person that really isn't spoon-fed what other people are telling you. Otherwise, you're going to get into deep trouble later on. And so that's what's happening right now, guys. So prepare for March Madness, guys. It's upon us, and everything that's happening from here on out is going to get even crazier, only for it to get better, in my opinion. So God bless you guys. I'll talk to you guys very soon.